This video is for section one knots of your splatter paint scarf or wrap. You have already completed your 10 garter stitch rows, and I of course have not done quite that many. And if you look at the pattern, row one is exactly the same as you have been doing in the garter stitch pattern. So I have already completed that on my small sample. We're going to start with row two, and I will tell you a helpful hint that I mentioned in the setup video, is if you turn your work going to the wrong side in a counterclockwise manner, then your yarn will be in front ready to purl those rows. When you're going to the right side, you want to turn it clockwise and then your yarn will be in the back ready to work and that will just keep your yarns in this section from being twisted and I'll show you that in just a second. So with the yarn in the front we're going to slip those first two stitches just as we have been and then we're going to keep our yarn in front and purl across to the last three rows three stitches, I'm sorry. And you come up on your yarn over and that's where you're going to change. So there's your purl stitches and then you're going to knit through the back loop just as we have been with our garter stitch pattern and then slip those last two stitches with the yarn in front. And since we're ready for a right side row, we're going to turn our work clockwise. Row three says using contrast color, so we're going to bring that in. And we're going to knit two yarn over, just like we have to start, and with Adding colors, I never knot the yarn, I just start knitting. And your stitches get a little loose, but that's perfectly all right. You can tighten them up later. Make sure you have your working yarn and not your tail. So knit two, yarn over, and then you're going to slip with your yarn in the back. And then your next stitch is to knit yarn over knit loosely into one the next stitch. So we're going to knit, yarn over, knit. So you have three stitches, slip with yarn in the back. Do that again. Knit, yarn over, knit. And then slip with the yarn in the back and for throwers. You're going to knit, yarn over, knit, slip with yarn in the back, and knit, yarn over, knit to the last four stitches. You'll end with a knit, yarn over, knit. And then again here, you're going to knit two together like you have been, and then knit your last two stitches. So in your pattern section, you'll have three of your contrast colors and then your one slip knit and that forms a little pattern across till you get to the end. And then as this is loose, we're just gonna pull it a little tighter. Now we're going to work row four. It's a wrong side row, so we're going to turn counterclockwise. And for this one, we're going to slip two with the yarn in front. You can just leave it hanging if you want to. And then you're going to knit one. 
So, oops, I'm doing this for throwers. So move your yarn to the back, knit one, and then we'll start our pattern. And notice the asterisks is where you need to repeat. So we're going to knit three together through the back loop, and this is why you want those to be done loosely. Slip one with the yarn in the back. Knit three together through the back loop. Slip one. And for continental, knit three through the back loop. Slip one knit three through the back loop and you're to your last four stitches. Now this I want you to be careful of because um, on this last slip stitch this yarn over tends to come across it so you want to make sure you slip that last slip stitch and it should be your main color and then knit through the back loop bring your yarn forward and slip those last two stitches. And again, you can tighten that up. Okay, for the right side row, we're going to turn clockwise. And if you'll notice, our yarn, for some reason, it's crossed over, but it shouldn't be tangled. I must have started incorrectly. So we'll just slip that over like it's supposed to be. Okay, if you'll remember in the pattern notes, it talked about carrying your yarn, and that's part of the beauty of this pro pattern. You don't won't have any ends to weave in other than the beginning and the end of each skein. So, to, on page two, page two of your pattern, the third pattern note says before you get a, begin a right side row bring the working yarn from the left and underneath the unused yarn so we're going to start working our five rows five six rows i'm sorry of our garter pattern with our main color so the contrast will be our unused yarn the main color is our used yarn so we simply take that skein pass it under our unused yarn, our contrast color, and we're ready to begin. So on, on the back side you've got both your strands and the working yarn comes up underneath your contrast color. And then we're going to return and work our garter stitch pattern and notice that both your yarns are together they're two stitches in and that's exactly what you want so to work our garter stitch pattern knit one two yarn over and then you're just going to knit across to the last four stitches And we'll stop and take a look at our pattern and see what it looks like. So your last four stitches, you will have one of your knot stitches and then your last one. So we're going to knit those two together. Oops. Kind of split my yarn on that. Knit two together and then knit the final two. And there are your knot stitches. You've got three little strands going across and then your floating yarn. Then again, to turn it to the wrong side, we're going to turn it counterclockwise. And our yarn's right there in front, ready to go. And let me work this row and then we'll look again at moving our working yarn underneath. 
So in this row, we're on our garter pattern. We're going to slip two with yarn in front and then knit to the last three rows. This is exactly what we did in the beginning, so this should be quite familiar to you. And we have a little loose stitch. Don't worry about it. We're going to be able to tighten that up here in just a second. And there's our yarn over. We're going to knit through the back and slip these two with the yarn in the front. And we can take our working yarn again and just tighten that up. Okay. So again, we have both our yarns back. We're moving to a right side row, so we turn it clockwise and our yarn is right there in the back ready to go. Okay, we're working again. Notice our yarns are not tangled. So again, we're going to take our main color, since that's going to be our working yarn, we're going to put it under the contrasting color and again, you're ready to go with your yarn wrapped. And I'll show you in just a second. Let me get a few of these on here and I'll show you what that looks like when you... It doesn't really show on this pattern yet because we don't have enough of it on. But you'll notice you've got a nice edging that kind of curls around on each side that will finish off your scarf quite nicely. And to see what this looks like, and to show the beauty of the pattern, I have made my real scarf in nice bright colors because it's a fun scarf. And here we have our knot section completed. And notice we've got our three little collars, the knots, and the floaters going across. And then this is what we're working on right now. This is our six rows of garter stitch. Now, when you're carrying the yarn up, when you pass the working yarn under the contrast yarn, it hides that carried yarn in that little I-cord edging you're making. So you never have to cut that yarn. I have carried mine all the way up into the mesh section and here I am I've completed the uh, star section and you cannot see the carried yarn nor can you see it on the front if I pull this apart you can see that working yarn there it is let me pull it up a little so you can see it it kind of blends in color wise but there's that working yarn being carried up. But when I put it back, it totally disappeared. So when you finish this scarf, you will have the beginning of your main color to weave in, the beginning of your contrast color, and then the end of both yarns. And you won't have anything to weave in on each of the sections. So that's very nice. Plus it gives you a very nice edging for your completed scarf. I hope that makes sense to you. Happy knitting!